Welcome to another edition of the Quant Trader's Guide to Algobox. In tonight's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about one of my favorite trap reversal setups, catching, isn't it just great to catch that perfect pivotal reversal location, minimal risk of loss, keeping that stop tight and watching a huge, huge move in the opposite direction. The Richie trap strategy is one of those. It's just absolutely killer. You want to find out the details about that, make sure you smash that like button right now. If you want to watch other videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button as well. But more importantly, if you want to learn this, see some of the other strategies that we have right here, join us down in the Discord chat because that is where all this you're going to see here tonight is all happening. All right, let's get to those details right now. All right, let's come on down here to our training window section here and pull in our Discord chat. Speaking of, again, you're going to be a little bit lost if you are not in Discord. And as another housekeeping event, if you're trying to figure out like how do you get this stuff set up on your screens, the link is down below as well to download the two-week free trial, install it on your computer, see what we're talking about in real time on your screens, and you can follow along with any of the strategies that we have here in our room. Now, a uh, quick housekeeping note, if you are new to Discord, where I'm going to be talking tonight is down in the education section. So the main public lobby is where majority of you guys will be kind of spending most of your time right here in the e-mini main chat. That's where you're going to see the stats from our members as they post in their results and the actual entries that they're taking. I'll go through that at the end of the video, but I want you to focus on where to go to get educated on this strategy first. Scroll down on the left. I know we've got a lot of things inside of our room. We are the largest futures trading room on the internet in Discord, so come check us out. Here in the education section is where I'm going, and you're going to be looking down in this list for the strat called the Richie Trap, okay? All right, so I've got that over here on the left, and we're gonna go starting with some screen setups, but let me kind of talk in a drawing window first about how this typically looks on the setup, and then we'll go into some real live charts on what that looks like. Now, the Richie Trap setup, again, this is how we are gonna be looking for trapped traders, okay? We, we've got a whole series on this. Remember, tonight's video is specifically to go directly into the details of it. If you wanna learn all the details on the things, the pre-steps for all this stuff and knowing our lesson library, you're gonna to need to go through that, the lessons one through six at least to start in the free section. And members, make sure that you are correlating this with the core before you see this pattern set up, all right? So don't take these this video as like, everything all encompassing we're to cover as much as possible but these are meant to be short and quick to the point to find out what the richie is so what is the richie let's look at what it actually looks like i'm going to draw in some lines here so we're going to have a drop typically a little beehive trap what we kind of call a little mess it's going to look like a little miniature beehive we're going to be looking like we're coming down a little bit farther and we get the oomph and the oomph now a lot of traders what happens with this this is what you're gonna be looking for in the Richie, okay? Simple as that. I want you to be looking for this on your charts. That little setup right there. Now, you're gonna to need to have a big leg coming down. You're gonna need one of those impulse legs coming into a zone, right? Now, there can be all kinds of other things up on the left-hand side. We talk about approaches to locations. You'll learn that in our distribution accumulation video series. That's, I believe, video number 13 in training. But this Richie setup, we are looking to find this trap. Let's talk about all the things that go on here as this trap setup comes in. First, you see the impulse leg. Lots of traders are going to be seeing this. This is kind of like all eyeballs on the market when you see a big drop into an area. Now, what we're going to be looking for is traders are going to be looking to get a continuation move off of a big impulse leg like this. And oftentimes this comes with some speed. This comes with some momentum and everybody starts being like, oh man, did you see that move in the whatever. This can be NASDAQ, Dow, Russell, E-mini, S&P. It can be a stock. It doesn't matter. But this is the setup we're looking for. What happens is as this comes into this zone we start to get the little pullback zones you might get a few traders just trying to catch a reversal right away okay so we're going to try to remember how i've taught you guys how things get wrecked in the markets you're going to be needing that little that little zone of accumulation right we've just come through a distribution you got a little miniature accumulation right here oftentimes comes with a volume spike in our case we'll typically see something with some speed we'll tell we'll maybe see a cross come up in this location but we're going to be looking for this first you need to have this little what i kind of call the chucka 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 very very minute movement in this little space and then the big move up and out you're going to get some reversal traders trying to push this long okay and they might start to okay get excited about you know pulling a reversal but you're going to oftentimes have a lot of pullback traders the ones that really get wrecked in this area are those pullback traders okay um now right here you're going to have the ones that are trying to catch the you know the mean reversal 
Universals. Those traders are going to be trying to catch that move up when they start to come back down. What ends up happening is they oftentimes will get very scared right here. They'll bail out. A lot of times their stops, first group of individuals who get stopped out, are going to get stopped out right about here, right? They're going to put their stops, you know, a couple ticks down below the low. All right. You see this big and mind you, this V right here is is kind of key to this whole thing. It's, uh, let's highlight that. Um, get some orange here, make our screens nice and colorful. All right. So the V right here, really, this is sort of like that. This creates emotion. This V down, in this case, again, we're looking for a reverse, uh, an upward movement. You now this plays the other direction as well. So, you know, this, the Richie does not have to look like this. This is, I'm going to talk about the long situation. This also works in the opposite direction. Okay. But this is an upside down V. If it's the other way, it looks like a V. You see this thing coming in. This drives that emotional movement. You get the continuation traders really trying to go, okay, pullback traders. You know, some of them might get in. Um, they're going to go short around here maybe as it continue to move. They get excited. They're pushing back in. Right here, they'll start to get heavy because uh, they're looking over here to the left. They're seeing that distribution zone. This is actually, you know, in general, if you're taking a pullback, this is where a pullback trader is going to try to take that and get that continuation move to get another downward leg, right? And they're looking for, they see this, and oftentimes what you're gonna be looking for is the speed of the down move. Okay, and again, if this is slow and sluggish and it's grinding, okay, that's not going to be key. This is one of those things that you need inside of this Richie, okay? The visual is one thing, but look, you're gonna see these in, in different charts, but in real time, what creates that excitement and momentum around this pullback, you want to get a lot of pullback traders trapped in this zone, then quickly stop out the people who are reversing reversals, and then I'll show you the, the next move that we're looking for. Remember, we're talking about an actual reversal trap strategy. We wanna catch these guys off guard, and we're gonna ride the other side of that position. Okay. So as the move starts to come down into this area, we typically want to see, we hope that we can get a small break of this pivot down here, maybe by one or two ticks, which is also in our wheelhouse, we call this a one tick wonder. Literally goes one or two ticks down below the current low, then starts to push back up in the opposite direction. Okay, So what does that look like? This trade tends to come down a little bit farther. Oops. I can use my shift key to get a little straighter here. Okay, we're coming right down about here. We break that low. You'll see lots more traders oftentimes. You, you'll push this break. You'll see a volume spike come in here. That's typically stops getting run. Plus, you get the breakout traders, right? So now breakout traders start to get in here. Let's, let's list the other people who are getting trapped now at this location. Okay, breakout traders getting trapped right about here because they're like, okay, here we go. Oh, great. Okay, I'm entering in right here. I'm going to get short. Okay, they're trying to get short right here. You got the pullback traders getting in short, trying to get that down move. But all of that gets collected, accumulated, and what you will see next is a little uh, maybe another uh, and then voom, voom. Okay, at this stage, when the price gets to about this location, this is where the panic begins. Okay, let's do a little red here for the panic. Okay, right about that section at this move, watch for the panic. Okay, panic, and you may you, you may have been one of these traders at some point in your career. I think we've all been there. You, you learn this, you know, as you go, and you see these types of setups occur. Okay, um, it might give a little dunt, 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 like okay, we're gonna keep going. Like okay, phew, oh, I feel better. These pullback traders and the breakout traders. You know, typically the reversal traders, they're like the least hurt here. Like they, they might've lost a little bit as they went down, but you know, they're like, ah, let me just see what happens, okay? They're they're watching this to see what goes. But you get these breakouts and the reversal trade or in, in the pullback traders really getting excited about trying to get that down move, but kind of does one of these and then whoop, and you're like, they get really, really panicky right here, okay? Reversal traders start to see this. They're like, oh man, I see a break of that high here. You let me see, maybe I wanna jump back in. They're maybe not ready quite yet. Okay, but this thing ends up doing one of these numbers and next thing you know, we are off to the races. Okay, now this doesn't necessarily have to do this one, but when you see one of these, it's even more powerful. Oftentimes turns into, you'll probably recognize a J hook. I won't go into the details of that tonight. Those are in our other videos, but you will oftentimes see the J hook combined with this, which makes this very, very powerful when you see the Richie plus the J hook, amazing work, right? In this structure, everything, if you are a veteran trader with us in Algobox, you're probably seeing number one, you got a beehive. We've got our impulse leg. We've got our V down. 
We've got our one tick wonder. Then we've got a J hook. All of those should be starting to be recognized in some setup like this. And what we love even better, when we get a little green dot around here that gives us from AlgoBox, again, I'm showing you guys a strategy tonight that you don't actually need AlgoBox for this, although you need the Algo bars to really see this well. You can do this on other types of bars, not really minute bars, not any time-based bars, but on range bars or our Algo bars, this is very, very visual. And I'm gonna show you guys that here tonight. Now, the other way that this can form is a straight up move right above here. You get absolute panic mode right here. Oftentimes you'll see a big spike in volume right about here. You'll get a cross entry coming in from our Flowmaster product and it's telling you we're ready to go. You might start to hear the audio box start to really get going. We get past this point and everybody, I mean, you get these stop runs starting to pump. You get the reversal traders now jumping in. The momentum of this really shifts hard into that direction, okay? now. One other preface to all this, if you're using AlgoBox, again, these are for traders who are not using AlgoBox, this still works for you, but if you're using AlgoBox, one additional thing that you really want to have with you is the favorable direction, okay? Now, the favorable direction is either, you know, our red or our green. In this case, we're looking for a green favorable direction and that reversal, we get this nice big move down. We're going with the favorable direction. This thing can be held very, very long, okay? This is a huge trade. Oftentimes, you know, this can be at a minimum a 25 tick trade for your first target. And then often we'll just, you'll just keep sitting that run, especially, I told you guys we talk about what time of day, okay? What time of day does this play the best? During the beast mode. I got a bunch of red over there. Um, let's put it right here. Uh, I should say best time of day. Let's do best time of day because look, it can happen any time of day. But best time of day for one of these is between 11, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, also known as our beast mode hours right in the middle of the day. This is where you can literally catch a continuation reversal that goes with the favorable direction. And this can be an all day rest of the day move if you're holding out those runners. Again, if you are in your final 40 days with us, we're practicing hitting those you know, home run trades and you're, you're executing those. This is a great trade setup for that. Okay, so let's take a look at some live examples. Take some notes on this <laughs> messy sc screenshot here. Maybe you wanna take your own notes uh, if you don't like my colorful crayon vomit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's take a peek at some live charts. Again, over here on the left in the strat section on the Richie, right over here inside of our room. Got lots of screenshots. You can come and see these for yourself. All right, so we put in pop quiz. What do we have here? Now you'll notice one thing. What do I not have here? I don't have the favorable direction. So I'm not gonna be looking to ride one of these all day um, on one of these and look at time of day. Okay, time of day, still a little bit more difficult right here. Um, actually, this is an after effect. Let me back up for a second. You see where this is? This is this short's favorable. It's actually referencing the after hours. This is actually a really nice trade setup. It's just not the ideal time of day. So you're not getting a huge, huge run, but out of this trade, off of this Richie trade, this move up and out of here, um, if we are getting anywhere even close, let's just say 3240 running to 3260. That's 20 times in this case, the ES it's four, 20 times four, that's 80 ticks on this chart, folks. Okay, again, this is candy bar threes. So, you know, it's relative, but that is 80 ticks. That's huge, right? So $800 trade minimum. And again, it's rounding here, like let's call it 850, 900 minus commissions on a single contract for that big run. It's massive, right? Now, again, are you gonna be like able to catch it from end to end? No, I'm not saying that. However, if you hold this to the end of the day, the end of the day is right here. Okay, and I'm I'm rounding here. That's a lot of ticks. Anyhow, okay, if you, you guys can get it, you guys are smart folks. Go take a peek um, at that one there. Time of day, you know, we're not gonna get any more out of that because we're closing at the end of the day. This would actually, at the time, what I meant to say about this short's favorable, at the time where this entered in, what was this favorable direction? It was long, wasn't it, right? And time of day for that, it came in at around two o'clock, just before two o'clock, 2 p.m., okay? So it's after the, the beast mode. We really wanna see that in the middle of the day. Let's take a, uh, I don't have the time of the day, no, shoot. Um, here is a little alternative to the, the Richie. I told you guys it doesn't always have to break the bottom. That is just the ideal, but we've got longs favorable, right? We got the impulse leg down. We got the chucka chucka. We got the bump bump. That is what you should see. This is the recognition of the Richie. One of these, we're entering, getting long. Now, where's your stop? Very, very simple. That's what we love about this 
trade entry, your stop is literally just going right down below this area. Okay, so small stop, big, big target. This is a killer combo, profit factor galore. We'll show some of the stats from our members later on here at the end of the video and talk, tell you guys how to kind of get involved if you are interested in learning some more of our strategies like this one. Again, this one does not require algo box, but the algo bars um, definitely make this much more visual and easy to see. Okay, so we got longs favorable right here. This first trade entry, we are scalping in and I'm certain we added into position as we got the volume coming in on this position. But this is a great, you know, this is what it looks like before the setup comes, right? We got longs favorable, we got the big moves down, we got the impulse leg, chucka chucka, bing bing. Where am I looking to get in? Bam, right there, right? The closer to that edge on the bottom, the better. And even if you get in early, no big deal. We don't sweat a few tick stops, right? No big deal. We're putting our stop right down there in case it kind of breaks down. And you can swing at this two times, never three. But remember, we give the two try rule, no problem. Um, I think this is an after. Oh no, that's a different trade. All right, so um, another one on this one. Long's favorable, looks good. What time of day? Uh, close, this is around 10.30. So still not one that might wanna hold the whole day, but pretty darn close, right? So this one, I'm just looking like I'm targeting the top of this. If we get increased volume coming in or we hear the order flow, that's when I add to my position. We'll talk about that advanced level um, here at the end, but I want to make sure that you guys see some examples of this, what it looks like on our charts. Okay, there's a volume spike scenario, okay? Um, oh, footprint, I think I was trolling somebody talking about footprints or whatever, but when we get a, a volume spike, it's gonna look like this. This, this is where I wanna get big on a position if one is going to, to get going like that, right? That's what I wanna see. However, with the Flowmaster product, it's even easier. Now we're gonna see it right there on the chart and it's not just about a volume spike. Remember, it is required speed and size of orders coming in at that location for order flow, um, our Flowmaster to fire off. Okay, here's one that's not on an Algobar chart. We've got, uh, let's see, about the world's largest Richie trade <laughs> call Guinness. Okay, actually this, <laughs> uh, this is a little bit of a joke here, but we had the big down move. A lot, a lot of boom, boom, huge Richie uh, trade. And this ends up like going on and on and on forever. This is a very, very large, this is a 26 range chart, but that ended up being a huge Richie trade. Showing an example on uh, something that was non Algobar. Um, here's one in action. Again, let's see what we don't, I can't see Long's favorable here. That might be working against us on this one, but same concept. You can see the Richie trap set up coming in right there. One of those visual things. We like to catch those that look really easy. Um, this is what it looks like if your bars are a little bit more spread out. Uh, I can't see to the left of this, unfortunately, uh, but you can see it from the higher time frame. We're coming in, we get the chucka chucka, vump, vump, nice little V and then boom, spike and go. Right. Now what we don't have, don't see that actual spike in volume. So I usually wanna hold on that to get big. This is an old, I can tell this is an old, old image because this one doesn't even have our Flowmaster product on it, uh, which is why, by the way, this video is on our old Ninja Trader 7 um, uh, Vinny Emini Archive YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the new Ninja Trader 8 stuff. We'll have uh, more of the Ninja Trader 8 stuff now that we released that within the last month or so. Uh, let's see, this is what I was showing. So the entry point would go along at the bottom. Yes, so that was answering uh, Amy's question there from one of our drawings. Here we go, another one. All right, I'll let you guys you know, come and take a peek at these um, on your own. We're gonna try to keep these videos nice and quick. Hopefully you guys got something out of that here tonight. Let's look at some of the results from our members. Just uh, I'm gonna hop into the public room here and scroll through today. And got some of our members posting in their performance reports. $1,700 today, 72% profitable, and oh my word, look at that profit factor. Again, what our focus is here, big, big winners compared to our losers. This means 4.89 times the size of his losers for the winners, that is huge. Winners four, almost five times the size of his losers, and such a great percent profitable as well. All right, here's somebody trading a micros account. Again, you can trade micros or minis, $126. That is $1,200 in minis. 81% profitable. Look at this profit factor. That is outstanding work from Michael G. Holy crap. Pardon my French there. 26.25. Those are huge winners versus his losers. He might have been trading in the middle of the day. I imagine that is a beast mode set of trades there. Curtis, 100% today on 12 trades. Um, profit factor really doesn't matter there because of the 100%. 13.50 today. Uh, Leanne, how'd she do here? 100% profitable, two trades, $1,500. I think she was saying she snuck away from work. Yeah, sneaked away from work and traded the last 30 minutes of the day. 30 minutes 
for 1500 excellent work Leanne uh, let's see if we got any other results here how many minutes here to make 25 minutes I got two more minutes let's see if we got any more of those uh, we got lots of trade setups came in the room as well let's see about the morning so this is the afternoon end of day uh, lunch bot results 33 37 let's look at the profit factor on that 1.73 again the bots aren't going to have as drastic a profit factors as you trading manually again we recommend cyborg style trading cyborg is the mix of human and machine the drawdowns are going to be a little bit more on the full auto but lunch bot is included for our gold members 75 percent profitable 1.73 profit factor awesome awesome work let's take a peek at any other morning results that we got from anybody here's remal at noon today 1725 for Remo. awesome work sir i think he actually closed out the day i was uh working with him on his nth stuff i think he ended up closing out the day at 4900 today huge huge moves for the reamster superman 625 dollars 100 percent profitable one trade hey one and done 625 dollars excellent work there my friend still breaking the 500 dollar trade holy cow look at this 3300 where is that profit factor? 7.93. That is eight times the size of his losers for his winners and 78% profitable. Awesome work there, JC. Um, let's see if we got any more here today. Um, that was our last night's video. Okay, so I think that was a lot of people coming in overnight last night. Okay. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, folks, we are at the end. Make sure you have subscribed to the channel to see our other strategies. There are some videos specifically on things like this, the entries, the exits, the targets, all that kind of good stuff down in the other videos below. Make sure you come over here and watch the core uh, lessons one through six and install that two-week free trial. And if you want to get involved with us, just come say hello to us over in the public chat. We'll send you some details on how to get rolling with us. I hope you guys like that. I will catch you guys on the next one. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. I'm sending out that big H town. See ya.